Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi guys, it's Silas for Kit Guru, and today we are taking a look at the Extrafire H1 Pro gaming headset. So let's start with the basics. The H1 Pro from Extrafire is a multi-platform gaming headset optimized for esports. It came to market at £149.99, pence, but is available for around about £120 through some retailers. And although it's hard to say whether a headset can ever be optimized for esports, the H1 Pro has been developed in collaboration with Ninjas in Pajamas, which is pretty cool to see. It's always nice to see users lending a hand in design or development of a product than a company simply having their new mouse or keyboard um, endorsed by a pro. Taking a look at the rather premium packaging, uh, this collaboration is also obvious thanks to the rather large uh, promotional badge on the front of the box, but little touches like the good luck have fun reference inside the box lid did make me laugh and a nice addition to cement this. With the lid of the box off, the headset is presented really well in nice soft foam and we do find quite a few accessories as well as the headset. You have a 2 meter braided extension cable with dual female 3.5 to 2 male 3.5 audio jacks, a 2 by 3.5 microphone and headphone jack to a single 4 pole 3.5 millimeter connection, good for use with laptops and portable devices, and console controllers. And alongside this, a 3.5 microphone and headphone jack to USB adapter if a USB connection is required. All of these adapter cables are braided and feature little icons on each of the connectors which makes plugging everything in uh, nice and easy and is really convenient. There is a microphone present but this is removable and attaches with a further 3.5mm connection to the headset. All in all, pretty comprehensive support for multi-platform use. First impressions of the H1 Pro headsets itself are really positive. It doesn't follow the same RGB super flashy trend that lots of manufacturers have been implementing recently and actually just looks like a pretty unassuming closed back headset. I'm a big fan of the brushed aluminium looks and in the hand the H1 Pro feels really solid. Good flex laterally uh, for the headband itself which is coated in soft foam and faux leather material. The hinging on the ear cups and connections to the headband are actually solid aluminium and with the exception of bending in a vise, look pretty indestructible. In the hand it's impossible to flex them and overall there isn't a huge amount of movement. They aren't massively flexible but this is a trade-off when using metal rather than plastics. This also means they are a little bit weighty at 380 grams with the microphone attached. The ear cups themselves also share the same brushed aluminium finish and a soft touch rubberized plastic. The extra large memory foam ear cups also feel very soft and squishy uh, with high expectations of comfort. The ear pads are also removable which is cool um, but have these simple elasticated seals to keep them on the headset. They are a little bit tiresome to remove and replace but I don't see many users doing this frequently. Uh, only every now and again for cleaning say. The attached unremovable portion of the cable is braided and features an inline remote for muting your microphone, volume adjustment for both headset and microphone volumes as well on two separate volume wheels. I'm normally not much of a fan of inline remotes so I tend to find myself fumbling around for them somewhere on the cable but the controller is a good length from the base of the ear cup and within easy reach. I also like that it's lightweight and follows the same aesthetic as the headset itself with the same brushed aluminium and soft touch plastic coating. The separation of the volume wheels feels like going the extra mile and I haven't come across this uh, much in headsets that I've used and tested. After handling and inspecting the headset I must say Extrafire have done a fantastic job. Everything feels really nice and solid and I keep noticing little details like the yellow black braided cable uh, which is then echoed in the yellow stitching across the headband and the very short braided cables from the ear cups to the headband are also really nice to see. There are some small references to the extra 5 brand hidden away on the ear cups inside of the hinges and top of the headband but these are very subtle with the uh, mic unattached I find them very hard to class as a gaming headset. They look very clean and in some ways handsome as a pair of cans. I can easily see myself using these daily without the large microphone attached and I wouldn't imagine anyone would take a second glance at them. Extrafy have done a really good job with the aesthetics and have managed to make the H1 Pro a strong contender for daily use with full gaming potential and cross-platform support as well. The extra cables of course follow the same colour scheme and black yellow braided cables throughout. 
There are quite a few of them though, so it would have been cool to see maybe like a little included pouch or even some Velcro ties to keep them all together when travelling. Another durability point I noticed is that the male 3.5mm connectors seem to be made of metal, whilst the female connections are plastic. I've rarely seen metal bodied connectors so was pleasantly surprised, uh, but then to find that the rest were all plastic was a bit weird. Now if Extrify hadn't included the metal connectors I probably wouldn't have missed them, but with only a handful provided I instantly wanted this, them across all the connectors. Taking a look at the microphone it also feels pretty solid and super adjustable thanks to the flexible metal arm. Although flexible it locks in place with no flex back and allows you to have it perfectly positioned in front of your mouth. The large foam windsock is removable and it's worth doing this to ensure that the microphone is positioned correctly. The mic attaches to the headset via a standard 3.5mm jack and locks in solidly. It's also nice to see a small cutout on the left ear cup to accommodate the square plastic housing of the microphone, which also prevents it twisting or turning during use. With the headset on, they are very comfortable. This is primarily down to the large memory foam ear pads, which don't become sticky or sweaty over time. They also hold a surprising amount of the headphones weight over the ears rather than the top of your head, uh, which does save you readjusting the pair over time. This in part is down to the less, fl less flexible construction. There is not a huge amount of give to the ear cup, so they do tend to clamp on the sides of your head rather than resting on the top. I did notice that there was a bit more of a gap at the very base of the ear cup, uh, which may have affected the passive isolation a bit. Only after really long five hour stints did I start to feel pressure build up on the top of my head, uh, but with minor adjustments throughout or temporarily removing the headset to speak with somebody next to me, uh, this was significantly prolonged. Overall, although a little heavier at 380 grams with the microphone connected, the H1 Pro still held up well in longer gaming sessions with little discomfort or heat being felt around my ears. Sound is solid thanks to the 60mm neodymium dynamic drivers, but it is quite heavy on the bass with a hint of background echo. The H1 Pros feel a little spacey like everything has been recorded in a large theatre. Mid-range does punch through but it is a little bit overwhelmed by the extra bass and becomes a bit lost when listening to rock or metal for instance. This being said, in some drum or percussion heavy parts, the H1s held up well with the punchy bass drums. Treble actually holds up well with vocals coming through clear, sitting atop the more booming bass heavy backing. In gaming however, this particular sound profile worked really well. Explosions sounded immediate and echoing bass helped quite a bit with immersion. The extra treble helped voice chat cut through this and I had no problems discerning my friends in chat from in-game audio. When Extrify suggests that the sound has been quote, fine tuned to give you the perfect soundscape for gaming, I believe them. And although not the best for strictly music, the H1s do offer great in-game audio while still handling general media, music and movie consumption well, even if it is a little bit bass heavy. They work really well in competitive environment, but the only downside I can see is if your preference is more solo player cinematic experiences, where music and composition come into play hugely. This could be a bit of a letdown, but at the end of the day, this does depend on your preferences. Isolation is pretty good, but I could notice people speaking around me or even simply clicking by the edge of the headphones. This was recognisable with no audio playing. Physically holding the ear cups closer to my head did help quite noticeably, but even adjusting the headband band made little improvement. This may just be a particular issue for my fit, however, so your mileage may vary and the noise leak is only noticeable in instances of absolute silence, so for gaming it's probably not hugely concerning. It's worth noting I couldn't hold a conversation with somebody around six foot away uh, with normal volume without repeatedly asking what, so passive isolation still checks out. For the average user this will probably never be noticed, but for the audiophile this could be a deal breaker. A bit of a shame considering how usable the H1 Pro seem for daily use. Playing around with some EQ settings helped a ton and are always on hand for those who want to tweak the sound a little bit, but if you are a fan of the extra bass this can be seen as a positive. I did enjoy using the H1 Pros, uh, but would have appreciated a little bit more mid and treble clarity. With the microphone it held up, it didn't provide 100% crystal clear vocal capture, almost a little distant, uh, but it worked well enough and although I didn't receive any complaints from teammates in game, when listening back to myself, uh, like a recording, I did notice a bit of noise and distortion coming through. Good for gaming, but nothing super special, so maybe not ideal for streaming, where clarity and accurate vocal representation is very important. 
A quick test of the microphone illustrates my point. Vocal capture did come through a little muffled and nasaled. Um, it does sound a little distant, but the built-in volume control will help with boosting volume through the microphone as required. Overall, what really impressed me the most with the H1 Pros was the build quality and durability. They feel super solid, and I think you would have a really hard time actively trying to break them. The H1 Pros do hold up well for audio consumption, but to me, uh, they really came through in instances of gaming. Audio files will probably look elsewhere, and for similar money, you will likely find headphones more attuned to specifically music. But when ExtraFi suggests the headset is optimised for eSports, I do kind of believe them, as strange as it sounds. The microphone works well, and the range of accessories and attention to detail are plentiful, but limits with audio are a little hard to overlook considering the current roughly sort of £120 price point. If you appreciate high quality, durability or usability outside of just gaming, say daily use, then they are definitely worth consideration and will do you proud. They will also probably still be in great condition a few years down the line when you consider upgrading. Make sure you like this video if you liked it and don't forget to hit subscribe for future videos. If you don't want to miss the next video, feel free to click the bell icon down below for notifications of new video releases from KitGuru. I've been Silas for KitGuru and I will see you in the next one.